Now, I'm going to show you how we find the URL and the field entry data. But first, actually, we need to make, we need to make a Google form. So I've gone into my Google Drive and we are going to make a form. All right, so Google form, I'm just gonna make one. All right, and I'm gonna call this, let's call this Google Sheets Tutorial. Right, and let's make a couple questions. I'm gonna make this just a short answer. It'll, it'll be easier uh, to input the answers that we get from Unity if everything is a short answer. We're gonna call this name, and then I'm gonna hit duplicate. We're gonna call this favorite color, favorite color, do it again, favorite animal. Duplicate one more time. And then favorite drink. All right, so those are all our questions. And then if I go to responses, obviously we don't have any responses right now, but I can create the spreadsheet by hitting this little button right here. Create spreadsheet, yes, create a new spreadsheet. And it creates a spreadsheet that you know is linked to our form, right? It has the timestamp, it has name, favorite color, favorite animal, and favorite drink. Okay, but now we need to get we need to get the URL first. So first thing, first thing, we're gonna hit the send thing. We're not gonna actually send it, but we do need to get the link. I'm gonna copy that link, open a new tab, and then hit and then paste it there and then this is where it gets really fun we're going to right click and we're going to hit inspect and what we want we can find by hitting control f control f is like a it's a nice tool for looking for like specific words um, in a text so if you like need to find keywords or something yeah you can just hit like control f and then just type what you need to find it's a really big time saver and we're going to type in form response and you can see it highlights this thing right here, and it's part of the web address that we need. So we're gonna double click, oops, double click, come on. All right, usually I just double, I just wanna double click the whole thing, but for some reason it's being a little, okay, fine, that works. So control, copy, well, control C to copy, Go back to our code, okay? And I'm going to hit Control V. Now you can see because um, there were like some extra bits um, in it that I didn't want to copy, but it just would not let me um, uncopy. So we're gonna get rid of this action equals quote thing because that messes with our line right there. So we just want the HTT, you know, PS, like everything, um, you know, down to the end of form response, and I have an extra set of, I have an extra set of, of uh, quotes here, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And see, now it's, now it's not angry. Okay, so now we have that web address. However, we need to get the entry IDs for the input fields on the Google form. That's a little, it's a little bit different um, to get to it. So what, uh, I'm gonna X out of this because we don't need this anymore, right? I wanna cancel. Now, to get the entry ID, we're going to hit this hamburger menu on the, on the form, and then we're going to get get pre-filled link. And that's gonna open it up. And again, we're gonna right click, hit inspect. We're going to hit control F, and then type in entry dot. And you can see it highlights the, it highlights this thing. That is what we wanna grab because that is, because that is the name of the input field. And so the data that we get from Unity, we want to make sure it pushes to exactly this input field. So we're gonna, gonna double click on that. I'm going to copy. That is the one for name. I'm gonna go to the code. We're going to paste that where we, you know, put in the name string. And we're gonna do a similar thing for color, animal, drink. 
Okay, so we can click on this little arrow down here to find the next instance of entry dot. And that should take us to the input field for favorite color. So we double, double click on Z1, copy, go to our code, make sure we are within the quotes, and paste. Go to the next entry dot, double click, copy, make sure you have only that highlighted. So it's favorite, it's favorite animal one. So we're gonna paste it there. And then finally, for the drink one, that should be the last entry dot. And double click on that. And paste. Now absolutely make sure you save. All right, so that should be everything. So now we go back to Unity and wanna make sure we have everything declared. Make sure to save this because it'd be very sad, very, very, very unfortunate if we lost any progress. I'm just making sure I have game objects in every one of these fields. Okay. Now finally, we need to go to the send button and we need to go to the on click uh, field within the button component. And you can see right now it doesn't have anything in it, right? And we need to have a condition in it for it to actually do anything. So we're going to click and drag the canvas into this field. And then we're going to go over to the, where it says no function, we're gonna hit the arrow. We're going to select the submit, we're gonna to go to the submit data script and then go to where, and then select the submit function. And what, that's, what that does is it will, you know, it will actually submit the data and call the functions that we made. So I just want to make sure, let's do like a little minor test. So I'm going to select milk. Let's say name is Tiffany. Favorite, maybe her favorite animal is a lion. And favorite color is like lime. Okay, I'm going to send. Now if I go to console, you can see that it says, you know, it says, hey, post started. So good news, that means um, the special function that we made, the IE numerator. It means that was called and Tiffany, Lime, Lion, Milk. So we know that, you know, there is data in these variables. However, if we go to our Google form, we can see that we don't have any responses. Now, why is that? Well, if you are using a, you know, school managed email, like I am, there's a special setting in here. Yeah, so it's gonna be under responses. Now, for example, I'm using my university email, okay? And this has like a little, a special like little security thing. You can see it says restrict to users in Boise State Bronco Mail and its trusted organizations. And that means it requires respondents to sign in with their, you know, Bronco State email in order to send responses to this form. Well, we're not having Unity do that because requiring email sign-in would, that's a little, that's a more, that's more complicated than what we're doing, right? It's a little bit more complicated uh, to make an email sign-in in Unity. But because we don't have a Bronco State email attached, you know, to this Unity project, it's trying to send this data, but it's not getting to the form because it doesn't have this email. So, just gonna switch it off. We're just gonna switch it off, right? Go back to responses and then I'm gonna go back to UV and I kept it running. I'm gonna send it again. All right, so I hit, I hit send again. Now let's go check it. You can see it sent it in. If I go to the Google Sheet, it adds it to the sheet. So now just for funsies, we are going to, let's, let's add a couple more people. Let's say Leon likes soda, Leon likes seals, and well, maybe just seal. And favorite color is maroon. I'm gonna send that. Let's add another person. Let's say Yolanda. And Yolanda likes tea. Yolanda, what kind of animal would Yolanda like? I think Yolanda would like the rhino. 
And favorite color, let's go orange. And let's do one more person just for funsies. Mm, let's see, let's go tiny. Well, that's not how I was trying to spell Tyler, but hey, what the heck, let's just leave it. That's Tyler. Tyler's favorite animal is a porcupine. Um, Tyler likes milkshakes. Favorite color? Hmm, <laughs> what's a good color? What's a good color? Um, violet, that's a good one, violet. Yeah, let's see. Tyler likes violet, we'll send that. And then let's check our responses. They were all added in here. And nice thing, it also, add, it also added in the timestamp, which is like the date and the time. We didn't even have, we didn't even have to, you know, code that in. That's just something that Google Forms does. But yeah, that is how we push data from Unity to a Google Form and a Google Spreadsheet.